Can you go blind from playing video games? 100%, and here's how. Your eyes are made up of rods and cones that all float in the goo of the eyeball. If the rods or cones get damaged, or if the goo leaks out, you will go blind. How can video games disturb this precious eyeball ecosystem? Video games are composed of 2D images, plumbers, ninjas, sims, and jacuzzis, while your eyes are built to process 3D images, plumbers, ninjas, kims, and jacuzzis. Doctors say that video games can cause strain on your eyes, but they can't make you go blind. But doctors lie. That's why malpractice insurance exists. Let's say you spend the next 30 days, 24 hours a day, playing video games uninterrupted. You strap a feedback to your jaw, cut a hole in your couch to fit a bedpan. You're gonna have a great time playing video games. But you have undiagnosed lagothalamus disease, a condition that causes your eyes to stay open without blinking for hours. It's why you never lost a staring contest. And now, after 720 hours, it's the reason your eyeballs look like pruny hot tub fingers, because you just went blind from playing video games. Let's say you're a big time blinker. Keep those balls moist all year round, and your body active with your Nintendo Wii. People say that gamers are couch potatoes, not you. You've got laughs and delts and cum gutters, all thanks to your Wii Fit. You're feeling the burn during Mario Tennis. It's your me against Yoshi, and it's 40 love. You're one serve away from a perfect game. You swing, and it's an ace. You throw up your hands in victory, at which point you realize you forgot to attach the safety strap. After hours of sweaty tennis, the Wiimote flies out of your hands and smashes into your eye socket. Game, set, blind from video games. Let's say you never have your eyes exposed while playing video games. Always keep them covered with a VR headset, and you just splurged on an Oculus Rift. Worth it, the graphics are incredible. You spend days in sheer virtual reality bliss. Fighting bears, kissing robots, those are suggestions, you don't have to do those things. Hours turn into days, turn into months. You finally take your glasses off on April 8th, 2024, and look up into the sky as the moon lines up perfectly with the sun for a total solar eclipse. You think it's just another incredible graphics package. You don't know what's real, you're in too deep. As the direct sunlight scorches your retinal sockets, your eyeballs burst into flames like marshmallows at the end of a campfire stick. You just went blind from video games again. Let's say you don't trust VR. You're a classics kind of guy. That's why you prefer a more vintage game like Duck Hunt. You're sitting in your living room, plastic gun controller casually pointed to the flying ducks on screen. You're having such a great time, you don't notice the two ornery hawks that have landed outside your window. And they don't like what you're doing to their duck friends. They decide to take revenge. They use their beaks to crack open the window and pluck out your eyes. The last thing you see is that dog in the field, and he's just laughing at you. Because nature just blinded you for playing video games. Let's say you're an online gamer. Got into gaming for the community. MMORP, God bless. And you're having a wonderful time with your friends from all around the globe until some troll enters your world of Warcraft. He's slinging insults, real personal stuff. Says everyone knows you're not a real doctor even if you do wear that stethoscope. You fill with rage. You don't even realize what's happening until your fist slams into the TV screen. Shards of plexiglass fly out of the boob tube and straight into your eye lube, pierced through your retina, causing all the goo to gleek out. Now you're blind, permanently, from video games. Let's say you've never played a violent game in your life. You prefer something more serene, like a life strategy simulation, Sims. You purchase Sims Hot Date, decide it's time for your avatar to travel to a new destination called downtown. There he meets a lady. She's a beautiful, elegant, older woman. There's something about her that's familiar even though she is but a computer-generated stranger. At the end of an incredible evening together, she leads you to her bungalow, where your two avatars make passionate woohoo. But in the morning, the real you wakes up in a cold sweat. You rush to your desktop as the thing nagging you becomes crystal clear. You thought that woman looked familiar because that woman is familiar. You're familiar. It's your mother's avatar. She started playing after the divorce. You're a modern day Oedipus. You gouge out your eyes. Spend the rest of your life wandering the perimeter of your desktop, blind from video games. Let's say you never play games. You just like to watch. Solitaire. You like it when the cards fill the screen. Well, 60 years from now, you get glaucoma. Your optometrist says it's from old age and your family history of glaucoma. I say it's from the fact that you once watched a computer game of solitaire. Who are you gonna trust? Me or some optometrist who makes you say letters out loud? Plus they're too far away, you can't even see them. So yes, 
you can go blind from video games. It's just a matter of when and how. I'm Natasha Mayblatt. I'm better than an optometrist. I'm an expert. And your worst fear has been confirmed.